hello pals and welcome back to another video this one is going to be a little bit different because it's been the easter holidays here so i have not been recording my usual studio vlogs but what i have been doing is trying to record some little pieces here and there and i thought we would do a nice q a voiceover over the top of the little bits of footage that i have managed to film um honestly trying to get anything done in the holidays is just a nightmare it's i just i just can't i just can't concentrate on all the things that require my attention all at the same time um so while i have been working and fulfilling orders through the holidays i have not been filming any of it because i just do not have the capacity um so yeah through this video you might see me doing some random little bits and bobs in the office i got some new toys i got a new little storage trolley and some storage containers and i also got a new tripod um and i think i got some other new bits and bobs that you might see going on in the background in this video but what we are here for today is to do some q a now i asked twice on my instagram stories uh i put a question box up and i was like ask me anything because i'm gonna do a q a video crickets absolute cricket not one person not one person responded <laughs> so what i have done instead is to go through all my youtube comments and find any questions that um i hadn't answered or that i may have answered but other people might want to know as well uh so yeah i've been through all the comments and just collated a bunch of questions that i can answer in this video let's get into the questions the first question that i could find um says any chance you will release the nope design on a t-shirt it's hot where i live so year-round sweatshirts are not a good idea um i don't actually have any plans as it stands to put the nope design on anything else at the minute um, for anyone who doesn't know, I'll try and put the nope design on the screen right now. Uh, it's the one with Barney laying on the ground, just being like, nope, not today. I cannot adult. So yeah, as it stands, no plans to put that on a t-shirt at the minute. I will probably do some other t-shirt designs in my summer shop update, if I get as far as doing a summer shop update. Um, quite honestly, the goodie bags take up a lot of my time and doing a spring shop update was like a massive massive push um so yeah i'm not exactly sure what i'm doing for a summer update yet but there may probably be at least one t-shirt design when i get to that if i get to that hopefully i will but i don't really make plans too far in advance to be honest with you pals i kind of am working on a month by month basis and just hoping for the best so yeah keep an eye out there may well be sweatshirts no not sweatshirts t-shirts at some point but i'm not sure what designs they're going to have on them just yet the next one says i love your content and your videos what kind of paper or weight of paper do you use for the backing cards i use the same card for everything um i don't know what brand it is because it just comes to me like unbranded um i buy it in bulk on amazon and the weight is a 300 gsm or at least it's labeled as a 300 gsm i'm not entirely convinced that it is a 300 gsm but that's what it's labeled as um and i have no way to know if that is accurate or not but i'm just kind of hoping that it is um so yeah i use a 300 gsm smooth matte paper uh or card for my backing cards and i use the same thing for all my greeting cards and basically any card based product that you get from me um i like to keep things simple i don't like to have lots of different papers for lots of different things because i just get overwhelmed and i get in a muddle and i just end up getting stressed so i just try and keep things as simple as possible um for the sake of my sanity i guess so yeah that is what i use for my backing cards the next question says your goodie bag packaging is brilliant did you show a tutorial on how you make them i have not done a dedicated tutorial on how i make my packaging mostly because it's very much trial and error and 
it I just feel like I couldn't do a tutorial even if I wanted to because I have no idea what I'm doing so <laughs> how can I put out content showing you how to make something when I don't even really know what I'm doing myself um that said I have tried to give a bit more insight into what it kind of looks like for me to create packaging and goodie bags and that kind of thing in next week's vlog um there will be you'll get to see some bits of recording of me actually making the next goodie bag which is not actually a goodie bag at all it's actually a goodie box and it's really flipping cool but um that's by the by I am doing a bit more of a in-depth look into how I do that but yeah the only reason I haven't done any tutorials so far is because I just feel like I don't really know what I'm doing and I wouldn't be able to explain to someone else how I'm doing what I do because I'm just kind of making it up as I go. Um, I obviously know what I'm doing to some degree but it's not a kind of well thought out process. It's very much a process of let's do this and see what happens okay that didn't work let's change this and see what happens okay that works better but not quite perfect let's change this and see what happens um so yeah i don't know if that's a really good answer to that question um well in fact the question was did you show a tutorial and the answer is no no i didn't but you know maybe i will try and show a bit more of me actually making the packaging up uh, as time goes on because I feel like a lot of people are interested in that it's not the first time I've had that question so um yeah we'll see how that goes okay on to the next one I would love to see more sticker sheets and how about a cute frog character okay this I also would like to do more sticker sheets um but like I said earlier I the monthly goodie bags take up so much of my not necessarily time i have physical time but they take up so much of my kind of creative energy that um i sometimes feel like i don't have a lot left over for other things um so yeah i would like to do more sticker sheets and i did create a little frog character once um and he was gonna be part of a pride collection that i never actually got as far as launching um he doesn't have a name he's just a little gay frog <laughs> that's that's as far as i got with that um but yeah maybe we could go back to the frog character and develop that a bit further i don't really know um at the minute i don't have any plans to go with that but that is because i am very very focused on the next goodie bag and once i'm done with that i'll come up with something else which you know may include a different character but while i'm working on one thing i find it really difficult to think about anything else so because i'm working on that goodie bag i wouldn't i, I just don't have the headspace to be like yeah let's come up with another character or whatever um so yeah there may be another a, a little frog character at some point maybe i will develop the frog character i already have but you know sometimes you just start doing something and it just doesn't take off it just doesn't go it just you just kind of lose the creative flow with it and that's kind of that um and there have been plenty of instances where i've started doing something and gone do you know what i'm not feeling this or i've started doing something and it's taken a complete different turn than i expected and it's started out as one thing and ended up as totally another um so yeah we'll see we'll see about more characters but all i can think about right now is the next goodie bag <laughs> and next question says it would be great if you could do a tutorial on how you designed and made your keyring backing cards uh this is similar to the other question about the goodie bad goodie goodie bag packaging i can't even speak um and yeah like i said i would I don't have anything against doing a tutorial i just i think if you could see my process it would be very underwhelming it's just kind of a lot of playing around and trial and error and swearing and getting stressed and frustrated and do you know what i don't want to do that on camera i don't want to do that on camera i don't want to you know have the pressure of being on camera while i'm in this kind of figuring out phase um so yeah i would love to do a tutorial if i actually knew what i was doing but um 
I will try and give a bit more insight into what I'm doing when I'm creating the actual like goodie bag packaging and the um, backing card, the keyring backing cards. I think people were quite interested in just because it was it was a bit of an engineering thing going on there. I was like, how do I get this to hold the keyring on? without using any like tape or staples or anything like that i wanted it just to kind of be its own contained thing um and anyone who got the key ring um you may or may not remember that the packaging was it was just a couple of little paper cutouts in the backing card but they were cut out in such a way that essentially there was like a set of arms for the um key ring to like cling on to and that's what kept it in place so it was a very simple thing but it took quite a lot of engineering as do quite a lot of my goodie bag things and yeah that's the only kind of backing card that i've ever done that's been like really complicated um but yeah the goodie bags do often take some engineering because i just have these ideas i'm like i know what i want it to look like and i know what i want it to do and then I just have to keep trying until I eventually get it right. So yeah, that's how that works. Okay, I've got one final question, which is, can I ask where the teddy dungarees are from? These, they are like my favorite thing ever. Um, for anyone who is not sure what I mean by teddy dungarees, I've got these dungarees, you might have seen them in another vlog, that are like a cream kind of teddy fleece fabric they're not like dungarees with teddy bears all over them they're just made from like teddy fleece um they are from cider i think it's shopcider.com um i'd never bought from them before but i actually saw the teddy dungarees on coco natasha i actually saw them first on coco natasha's vlog and i thought they were just brilliant and i loved them um so yeah had to scour the internet to find out where they were from and found them on cider it's shopcider.com um i'd never bought from them before actually and i don't know if they're a really reputable brand or not um but i became obsessed with these dungarees and needed them so had to buy them um so yeah but actually the quality of them was, was pretty good i bought a shirt from there as well but the shirt wasn't as good um but the dungarees they were pretty good okay so i think that wraps up just about all the questions that i could find in my comments so if you think of another question that you want to ask me leave a comment below and i will do my best to answer it um and yeah this has been a bit of a different kind of vlog a bit of a shorter one for me today because like i said it's the holidays and i can't do everything um although i am still trying but next week I will be back with another more proper studio vlog. Yeah, in that one we will be doing the next goodie bag, which I'm super, super excited about. Um, so keep an eye out for that one and I'll see you in the next one, pals.